Hi, in this session I will be discussing pink diamond grading as per GIA system. Now the first thing I will say about my chart is that it is much more linear than GIA's usual way of drawing their charts. Feel free to Google their charts to see the originals online. I have just done it in a linear way to simplify it a little bit so we can get a basic understanding of how uh, GIA looks at pink diamonds and coloured diamonds in general. Now we there, there's three overall main colours of pink listed here. There's purplish pink, pink and orangey pink. So they are the different colour hues and from left to right you'll see there's less saturated colour to more saturated colour. Now as you get to the fancy dark and fancy deep colours the colour tone is darker as well. So imagine you've got paint and you're mixing a little bit of black paint into something. So it's not necessarily just brighter in colour, it is also darker in colour. Okay so um, we, we start with faint being the lightest, then very light, light, fancy light, fancy, fancy intense, fancy vivid, fancy dark, fancy deep and with pink diamonds red is the rarest colour of all. So anything that has red in its description is extremely rare and very very valuable thus commanding quite high prices. Now um, the way that GIA descriptively labels diamonds enables them to be categorised as an individual gem. So you'll actually see um, sometimes you'll get gradings like fancy grey, greenish, yellow if there's a number of different colours in or a number of different hues in the actual gem. So coming back to the pink diamonds, your, your purplish pink is the rarest colour of pink diamonds, then your pink and then your orangey pink in this particular chart. Now I mean certainly when you're getting into the more intense colours of all of them they're particularly rare and um, for any diamond to be pink at all is much rarer, it is much rarer than a white diamond. It's important to note with pink diamonds that there is a lot of variation f from stone to stone and all of the pink diamonds in the world aren't in one place at the same time. So you will get variations, you'll see two fancy vivid pink stones that can look quite quite different. Um, as well as the, the cut, the shape, the clarity and other factors affecting the stone, the colour can vary a little bit. Your eye can pick up really minute variations in colour that can't be co covered in the um, relatively few shades in the grading system. But the grading system is just to help understand the stone in comparison with other gems and to help generate an understanding of how valuable the gem is. Um, for example, certainly stones with red in the description would be very desirable to investors because of the rarity of the gem. But if you're buying something because you want to wear a beautiful pink diamond, it's very important to actually look at different pink diamonds and to choose an, a specific gem that you like the look of and that uh, suits your style and budget. Alright, thanks for listening.